Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that the Employment Relations Film Production Work Amendment Bill be now read a first time. Mr. Speaker, over the past weeks, industrial issues have highlighted a significant concern for the way the international film industry operates. The government is moving to ensure that New Zealand's law is clear on the distinction between independent contractors and employees in the film production industry. This will provide film producers with the confidence they need to make movies in New Zealand. The film industry is worth $2.8 billion to the New Zealand economy, and the two Hobbit films will bring in $670 million alone. It is essential we protect this industry and the livelihoods of thousands of hard-working Kiwis who depend on it. The Government is introducing this bill to provide certainty and clarity at the outset about the status of workers such as actors, crew members and other production personnel involved in film-related work. The bill makes it clear that the status of these workers as contractors or employees is based on the decision they make at the beginning of the employment relationship. If they sign on as an independent contractor, they are an independent contractor. If they sign on as an employee, they are an employee. Mr Speaker, this change reflects what is, commonly, what is common industry practice. Actors, crew members and production staff are commonly hired as independent contractors. This bill amends the Employment Relations Act 2000 to provide clarity and certainty about the status of workers involved in film production work, including production work for video games. It does not cover production work on programmes initially intended for television. It will address the uncertainty that can arise about the employment status of these workers and prevent unnecessary delays and litigation. Most people have agreed that these workers are independent contractors. However, the potential for disputes about employment status creates uncertainty for film producers, particularly if a dispute arises after production has commenced. This uncertainty can increase the costs involved in producing a film if it delays filming. It has also been added to by the international boycott supported by local unions. Under the current law, Mr Speaker, a previous agreement in relation to a person's employment status can be challenged and overturned by the courts. Despite what the contract or agreement said, the courts could look through it and decide whether the relationship was a contract for service or a contract of service. These legal challenges can create uncertainty for all the parties involved and high legal and compliance costs to reach a resolution. Mr Speaker, we need to provide this clarification so that the film industry will continue to make a significant investment in our economy and film The Hobbit in New Zealand. Therefore, it is appropriate that this bill be considered under urgency and through all stages. The Hobbit, Mr Speaker, was the catalyst for this amendment without a doubt. But with or without The Hobbit, the uncertainty still remained. Mr Speaker, film workers are intelligent and understand perfectly the difference between being a contractor and being an employee. This law does not alter how they will approach their employment arrangements. It is business as usual. This law does not remove rights from anyone. It is not retrospective and does not affect any existing employment agreements. Mr Speaker, neither is, is it a new concept. Share milkers and real estate agents already have industry-specific exceptions. Mr Speaker, this dispute began because a union, without a mandate, issued an international boycott against The Hobbit right. as its first action in an effort to negotiate a collective agreement which is illegal under New Zealand law. For the unions, this was never about workers' rights. It was about power. This bill, Mr Speaker, responds to the needs of the film industry by providing the certainty needed to continue making films in New Zealand, not just the two Hobbit films, but major films to come. 
The Government believes that this bill is in step with industry practice and is, sim is a simple and common sense response. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Members, the question is that the motion be agreed.